more about this piece with you guys, if you will. Thank y'all um, for letting me come and share this with y'all. Um, one of the things I feel like God created me to do is to uh, share art with people, uh, specifically uh, because art has healing powers, just like the music and the dance, all of those things are creative outlets, and that is what connects us with God, the master creator. So, um, y'all probably don't know this, but I typically paint very bright, very happy paintings, because I believe that you can create whatever world you want. You can create for yourself the life that you want, regardless of how you start, where you are now, you can create whatever life you want. You have the power to do that. Um, you are equipped with it when God created you. So I prayed about this and I'm like, okay, so how can I create a painting that aligns with this um, topic, which is very serious and not very happy at all, but still stay true to my own style and my own self? I thought about it a lot. I prayed about it. And what came to me is the story in the Bible of Manasseh and how Manasseh had been through a lot of stuff. But the scripture says that he would forget all of the things that he that forget the pain that was associated. I'm interpreting loosely. <laughs> I'm not a preacher, so let me make that disclaimer. Um, but uh, I'm after Jesus' is part, so anyway. Um, so, um, so he... He, the, the scripture and my takeaway from that was he was able to to remember some of the pain, but not but not he didn't let the pain hold on to him. So I, I thought about that in relation to this, and so I believe that each one of us is created with a light. We are a light into this world with a divine purpose. God created each one of us individually for a specific purpose that only you can that you can fulfill and you can fulfill and I can fulfill. So that's our light. But then certain things happen to us. So first, we're created in love, which is the representation of the red, God. We are light, but we are created in love. Sometimes things happen to us, and I don't know if you all paid attention, but when I first started, I, would, I put black on it. The black um, and the darker colors represent less than positive things that happen to us. Maybe it's the sexual abuse, maybe it's rape, maybe it's verbal abuse, maybe it's bullying, maybe it's a whole host of things. But, and those things have a tendency, if, if they continue to grow, they can extinguish the light. Mm -hmm. And so, um, my thought is that you have to, you know, you, you have to understand that all of these things that happen to you, all the, the bad things happen for a reason. If you hold on to the promise that God created you for a divine purpose and that nothing that you've gone through is enough to destroy you because you're still here. So whatever it is that you've gone through, God will use that ultimately for your purpose. Do you hear people say a lot of times your pain is associated with your purpose? Mm -hmm. The tricycle is a perfect example of that where her pain is tied to her purpose. <laughs> Me with my art, my art is tied to my purpose. Um, this was my way of escaping my reality at a young age, so that's why I firmly believe that art is healing. I am standing, beside, standing here before you, and if you only knew all the things that I have encountered as a woman, as a girl who grew up in Memphis, um, you, you would be very surprised. But I say this because I believe this, so I'm saying this to all of you, that you all have a divine purpose, you have a light inside of you, and no matter what has happened to you, you you have what you need inside of you. Mm -hmm. So um, I have these three things I want to tell y'all. Um, we all are divine, amazing masterpieces, mm -hmm. every one of us. And um, scripture tells us that we are created in God's image that makes us divine. We are fearfully and wonderfully made that makes us amazing. And God, we are God's handiwork. We are his masterpiece. So start with loving your damn self. Your divine, amazing masterpiece of self. Sorry. So, that's what this is about. <laughs>